It is. The 16 collab is here. And it is my time to find the flame. A land on fire. Hello, Neophyte Adventurer. Uh, let me make sure all my sound effects are right. A land on fire. The Neophyte Adventurer seeks the warrior of light. Uh, I think it is, Alex, yeah. F forgive my boldness, but you are Mr. Happy, are you not? Th then my search is at an end. The goggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not share with me. Pray remain here and I shall fetch him at once. Uh, probably not the line. I can't really see a reason to. Greetings, champion. Oh, no, it's him. I don't remember what voice I use for him. Tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I have requested that you and you alone can fulfill. Pray listen well, for my tale begins with a most unsettling dream. Yeah, you and your dreams are kind of rough. Oh, yeah, let me get rid of the factor thing. Good call. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank deep of its beauty, I spied two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of the purest white, the other blushing scarlet, their courses set such they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of the white star, the conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. A lovely tale, but I fail to see what it has to do with me. I do not wish to make any claims with certainty, and yet... Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. I remember what voice I used for him, I use for him every year. The question is, which territory in Eorzea might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? I mean, we're in Thanalan, we're in a desert. I mean, the, the Bowl of Embers is correct. But that might be a little too hot for now. Well, it's relation to flame cut. Yeah, it's probably the Burning Wall. Mine instincts tell me nay. The scene from my, my dream was more ridged than bowl. A giant flickering outcrop of crystal, mayhap? Of course! The Burning Wall in Eastern Thanalan. The cost of immense crystals born of the seventh umbral calamity. Well, it resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. The first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous Burning Wall at once. Very on the nose. Quest accepted! Everybody loves collaboration quest accepted text. I was kind of hoping there it would be a 16 jingle for quest accepted, because they've done that for other collabs where the, the jingle is something relative to the game it came from. Yeah, sorry, I'm in I'm in Fanolin. I can't I can't come here on Xbox or I'll be banned. True. Or as Xbox thinks it's called, Thanalin. I'm bringing Clive some big fat tacos. I couldn't remember if I could get high enough to fly over this. It's like I come here very often. Xbox just has really bad automated filters and people are getting in trouble for some very silly things. 
The burning wall. An apt name indeed. It is said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dolomud pierced the land's ethereal current. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, a manifestation of renewed life. That is neither here nor there. Let us have a look around, shall we? Spy glasses at the ready. Yeah, they must not have gotten permission from the Final Fantasy 16 team. I must spot a Clive in the distance with my spyglass. Very ominous music. Wow, that was easy. Strange man. He doesn't look that strange. But he looks like he needs our help. And it begins. He's playing Dragoon right now. They don't die that much anymore. Ugh. That man looks higher res than the rest of us. 100% looks higher res than literally everybody else. Where am I? What? What's going on? Yeah, yeah. My man's already on the graphics update. A dream led you to me. Understand how absurd that may sound. We ourselves were unsure what awaited us here. As for who we are, I am content to be known as the Minstrel. The stalwart hero is Miss. Look at him! Look, it's like he's—it's like he's introducing his his children for the first time. Little do you know that I'm both of your daddies. Might we have the pleasure of your name, Clive? I—the last thing I remember was the ruins. Ugh. My head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you were knocked senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make for town and have the front the frontisserie ph physician look you over. Shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting for us at the scholar's walk? Yeah, he's not in good shape. What do you mean, huh? He is their daddy. He's literally both of their daddies. How is that a huh? It's just true. He's my brother from another mother in this scenario. A foundling is being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be released soon. Hopefully it was not but a bite, that a bite of food and a little bit of rest couldn't cure. Brother from another mother, Crystal. Yep. It was kind of you to wait. Thank you. What of your condition? Much improved. The Physica also noted no signs of injury or illness. Damn, look at his- look at his face. Looks so good. <laughs> Yet my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. Well, we cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. What of the city, Clive? Do any parts of Uldash strike you as familiar? Hmm.
No. Maybe I've simply forgotten that I recognize nothing. Not old Da, then. Still, I should like to think that sights and sounds a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The Burning Wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Uldan and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelveswood is in order. Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better suggestions. And you would take me there? I sure would, Ben. Well, meanwhile, I shall make the rounds of neighboring settlements and ask if any have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania soon. Let's go, Clive. This entire situation has knocked me off balance, I'm afraid. Mister, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. We can set out whenever you're ready. Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. Good. Are we ready? Then let's head out. The Gridania, the, this Gridania the minstrel mentioned. Is it far? Will we need mounts? By airship? You have those? N not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's what we'll do. Hello, Wild. Hello. It's going to be fascinated by it. It's oh so similar to your world. Except that airships are literally not a normal thing, really. <laughs> Yet. If I may ask a foolish question. Do these airships of yours actually fly? A foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. Is there no airship travel where you're from? So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon on my back is called a sword. I understand what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt... Confusion. Disbelief. For something you clearly think is commonplace. I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwindling on it's pointless. Forward is the only way. <laughs> Woohoo! Fun airship ride. Feel the bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory may be faulty, but that was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. So this is Gridania. It seems very unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it's best if I follow your lead. Clive now accompanies you. Walk with me, buddy. Yeah, they pretty much all have it when they get here, Alex. This tavern. It reminds me of somewhere I've been before. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. Maybe if you were to show me somewhere else. Well, let's go then. I'll, I'll show you all around Final Fantasy XIV. This was daddy's first baby. You're, you're, I know you look older than me, but it's, it's, it's just a height thing. All right. A chocobo. Now that's something I recognize. Yet it's more than that. I had my own chocobo once. I'm sure of it. But as for when or the where. You also have a dog. You need to remember Torgal. An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. 
No, not nearly large enough. When I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. Don't show him the party finder. No, let's show him right now. Let, let's show him, uh, what are they called again? Let's show him fellowships while we're at it. Hey, Clive. Don't you want to... Where's an, where's an inappropriate one? Don't you want to meet the rat gang? Or the or go to the 420 lounge? Or be Bible buddies? No, none of that? Maybe you're looking for something after hours? Oh, coffee is life. No, I relate to that one. That's fine. This is a truly beautiful place. Taking a liking to Gridania? Hmm. I do like what I've seen. Seems a peaceful life here among the trees. Only, I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful. It doesn't sit right. Patrol, reporting commander. All is quiet with the Exalt. No sightings of Garuda. Uh-oh. They said, they said the thing. For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Man, he heard them from far away. Did he say Garuda? Ah, this is why they use this dungeon theme here, yeah. You there, this Garuda you speak of. <sighs> Sir, are you all right? Captain Happy, do you know? Oh, hey, that's right. I'm a captain in the Adders. Checks out. Do you know this gentleman? Memory loss, you say? I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has lit a spark of some sort. I was in a battle with Garuda. I fought her, I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything that might help me remember my past. Of course, Gritania owes a debt of gratitude to any who stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder seeds here is well versed not only in primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. I will send word ahead to Stillglade, Fe Stillglade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guests to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray find me at Nafika's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. I can go see her whenever I want. Do you know me? I like that they just teleport you to every location. The way back to what I've lost begins with Garuda. Of that, I'm certain. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Greetings, honored guests. The state of the realm music. I'm suing. Commander Helu apprised me of your friend's condition. This is he. A pleasure to meet you. I am Khan E. Senna, Elder Seedseer of Gradania. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive. Though beyond that, I fear my introduction may be lacking. Please, concern yourself not with proprieties. Tis your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes. In the instance I heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. A wish easily granted.
Garuda is the deity revered by the Ixal, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelveswood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman, who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is her capricious temper, and as unpredictable as a howling storm. I should add that Mister has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. A winged woman of volatile temperament, with power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No, the will behind that monstrous visage was distinctly mortal. I suspect Clive's Garuda and Eorzea's Primal are not one in the same. Thanks for just breaking in here. Mainly, as Clive himself is not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel. I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folks in all the nearby settlements. Not one person recognized his description. Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for moms around? Improbable, to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility, one consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors of other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. My brand. It's... It's the mark uh, of a bearer. Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, bearer, Ifrit. Another primal's name. It would seem the pain has less as a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront the awful truth. The mind creates a shield of pain to protect the heart. <sighs> The barrier is of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? With our aid, of course. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. Clive just looking at us why we're so low poly. My man has way more polygons. So you think me from another world, and my memories of said world are not like to return, unless I acknowledge some terrible truth, a truth my mind refuses to remember. Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree, and I have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle, a drastic measure perhaps, especially when not at your best. Which is why I turn to you, mister. You are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see is thick with thorns, but if you've the will to walk it, then gird yourself for war and await me at Apkalu Falls. Yo, I'm in it for the thousand gil, man. I'm, I'm making bank right now. The minstrel had a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We're to meet him at Apkalu Falls, right? Where is that to be found? Good. Not far. Let's get on with it. It's no, it's one trip to the moon I won't have to pay for. Who pays for teleports? Come on now. Yes, he has to accept his fate. Accept the truth.
Must have more tickets. Where are my tickets? Oh, there, there we go. I've got 374 on me. I've got another 2,000 tucked away. This place. Why here? Because this waterfall is where the legendary Archon Louis Soi gathered a band of adventurers in the time of the seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose? To extinguish the eternal, the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit. Uh, I know something is there, I just... Why can't I remember? Clive recalled several words in the Elder Caesar's presence, words which brought him pain. While the significance of Bearer eludes me, you and I are more familiar with Ifrit. It's it's weird to have this theme when he's when he's it's Ifrit. This is this is Phoenix's theme, but I mean it's here because Louis Swa. I get it, but it's. No, you know what? It's good. I like it. I like the placement. Considering her reaction to the mere mention of the name, tis likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Thus have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Here, where Archon Louis Soir paved an ethereal path to the primal's lair. Will, you, will my words be given substance? Within the vision which takes form, will you do battle with a phantom of our mind's creation? Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin. Your past awaits. Where has he sent us? You stand in the bowl, bowl of embers, the site where the Amalgia summoned their patron deity, the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. Hey, don't make this about me. Tis but a convincing illusion, the body of recounted tale given breath by fanciful verse. Come forth, Lord of Inferno. Hey, that's our Ifrit. Clive's like, that's the wrong one. An accurate fa facsimile, yet not quite the Ifrit you know. No, not quite the same. That's better. Ifrit is evolving! Time to uncover the truth. All right. Time to find out who I am.
Yeah, I was gonna say, they're gonna save Find the Flame for the Accept the Truth moment. Hmm. Ifrit. That's the thing which killed Joshua. Yes, I've been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother. This fiend must pay. Fight with me, mister. You will gain access to special duty actions. Use rising flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. With the proper timing, you can use dodge to avoid taking damage, even if you are within an area of an enemy's attack. Certain enemies will be preceded by a countdown icon. When this countdown progress progresses to dodge icon, quickly... Oh, it's, act it's acting as the, the timely accessory. After successfully executing dodge, the dodge action will change to precision strike, which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage. With me, mister. All right, I'm only level 50. I don't remember what my actual keybinds are for these. Like, I see what they are, but I don't remember what those are on my mouse. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'll just do this. Yeah, but I, it's, it is the numpad, but I, it's a button that I set to my mouse originally. But it doesn't seem to be bound right now because I haven't used duty actions in ages. Dude, looking at Clive's animations over there, he's having a good time. Might as well be using that every time. I also like how it actually has the thing over here. Get out of there, Clive. Yeah, you can precision. I mean, you watch Clive do it. No reason to force it, though. Say he does it. Boop. He even goes to the side like a professional. Come on! His flames grow hotter. Watch yourself. What is he up to? Shit. I can't move. Mister, buy me some time. This won't hold me. Yeah, Clive's banned on Xbox now.
That is not how the rising flames attack works. <laughs> And it's not a gap closer. It's literally just the small uppercut. High will damage. Yeah, they just combined Phoenix Shift is all they did. It's not even really a launcher. Because the only animation cancel you can follow up with it is Limit Breaking. Otherwise, if you just try to do it, you they'll just hit the ground well before you can do anything. Yeah, or Rift Slip. It's not even really meant to be a launcher. It's a, you can ground punish with it, though. That you can do. Turtle can follow everything up. Although in this case there won't be an air it won't be an air follow up with him. Alright, it's your time, Clive. Hit us with the music. Hit us with the music, Clive. It's time, Mr. Accept the truth. Accept it. Still in the fight. I love nails. They're feeding him power. Break them. There's too many. We can't rely on steel alone. Enough. Thank you for the for the Phoenix Ultimate. Just a few more, mister. Leave none standing. On your guard. He means to unleash hell. Fire. Ha ha ha. Get it? Because he's free. Still with me, mister. Let's finish this. I get it. Five, accept the truth. <clears throat> I blamed another to spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little was left of me. 
But I accept the truth of it now. You are not Ifrit. I am. I was hoping for the screen break for when you complete a mission. <laughs> In the battle against your own mind, it would seem you have emerged the victor. Intriguing. It's a portal home. Oh no, it's Torgal. Hi, Torgal. Torgal. Woof. Yes, finally the main character is here, Torgal. The illusion is unraveled, yet you've brought a friend back with you. Torgal also got the graphics update. This is Torgal, a wolf pup raised in the duchy. There's no more loyal an ally in battle, no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Ah, that would explain the aberration and the lingering ether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Huh? Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so reclaim the memories he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. Mm. Even so... It was difficult to accept what I'd done. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The inheritor of the Phoenix's flame, he was destined to become Archduke, as our father had before him. But Joshua is murdered. His bright future cut short. From that day onward, I lived for one purpose alone. A dominant of fire had slain my brother, and I would have my revenge. I spent years tracking the killer, until one day, I came to understand it had been me all along. I was young and distraught when I first summoned Ifrit. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. I can imagine the anguish this caused to you. There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape, but I cannot let it stop me. I was born the vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. I was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found the courage to face my past and accept the truth. And then everything faded to black. 
Your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force, was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes? What are you thinking? I'm thinking that to see you home, you must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry com comrade will lead us exactly to where we need to go. <laughs> Woof. Torkoal voice acting on point. Woof. Woof. Bork. Yeah, probably SF. I mean, they even worked, even in the early days, even like with the Hildebrand quest, they like to mess around with camera angles a bunch. We just didn't see it in the MSQ for a really long time. They've already been doing a better job with it. They'll probably just keep doing more cinematic stuff with it. Yeah, funny thing, they also did the same thing with 14 and Lightning Returns with a lot of changing over the textures and resolutions. There are some models uh, in Lightning Returns that are exclusively pulled from 14, and there are some models in Lightning Returns that are... Uh, that 14 uses that are exclusively from Lightning Returns. Because they were both being developed around the same time. We've come this far. Now Torgal will be our guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. Dot, dot, dot. Torgal's ears pricked up. His senses focused on his surroundings. Ready, Torgal? Take me home. Whoop! Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Mitchell will accompany you. Torgal will begin leading afterward. Follow Torgal to his destination and try not to fall behind. If you leave Clive or the Minstrel for any reason or lose sight of Torgal, you may try again by returning to the starting point. Probably not, Luca. Quartz Doblin, shut up. It's so peacefully quiet. I hate listening to Quartz Doblin's talk. I mean, talk, walk. I mean, I also hate listening to them talk, to be fair. The pitter patter of their feet. That's how they talk, I swear. No, when they talk, they go... Is this it, boy? The tale ends where it began. Where you first found me. Indeed. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds. But now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, Eorzea visit was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Yet even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. It was as if the star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being to save us in our hour of direst, direst need. The phoenix... burning wall itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some believe these monoliths are solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix's deliverance. 
The bond with your brother, the phoenix of your world, may have been the connection which brought you to this sacred place in ours. Drawn to the flame. Ah. Oh. Woof. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. Press on, friend. Always. No matter what a fate awaits at journey's end. Come, Torgal. We have answers to seek, and Valisthea awaits. Howl! gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. But nay, it would be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. That honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds was not granted me by this day's miracles. I wonder, however, if you might manage it. Now go buy Final Fantasy 16. Go buy. It's literally what he's saying. Go buy the game. Our little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was dreamt as it was by a dream most cryptic. Must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. Torgal provided such a trustworthy guide, I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. Woof! Huh. I right, get most of the rewards from this, huh? You can now exchange MGP for special items by speaking with the gold saucer attendant. Yeah, they give you the most important items from this. I wonder if that they consider that lesson learned from the uh, from the 15 event where you had to actually buy the mount afterwards. There we go. I'm ready to punch. Woof. Hey, wait, wrong minion. There we go. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. The puppers. Look at him, he's so cute. Look at his little face. Making sure my cats don't see me admiring a dog. Look at him wag his little tail and everything. He's like, he's looking up at me. And away he goes. And then, of course. Oh, Toggle. Other Torgle. I'm amongst my other 8 billion dog mounts. Just 
Okay, so two things. I, I have two things to say. One, dope. Hey, Torgal. Again, Torgal also got the graphics update. At least a little bit. And most importantly... Good dog. He likes getting the pets. But I'm upset. Our terms is now literally nowhere, even though it was in the video that in the teaser trailer great music for the mount i think a lot of people expected this to be the music for the mount but now our terms is nowhere even though it was in the heckin teaser for it why would they do this according to the wandering minstrel the beast who appears to uh, to aid the stranded clive was a guiding spirit born of its master's memory so impressed was the ever insightful musician by the creature, he decided to create this faithful facsimile in hopes that it might also serve as your loyal companion. Pet the Torgal because he is a good boy. Yes, he is. Has no effect in battle. A more dependable comrade one would be hard pressed to find. And finally, summon forth Torgal, a trusty hound inspired by the trusty hound, inspired by the memories of the actual trusty hound. <laughs> Solid description. Very, you know what? That's a trusty description. Mm, 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 mm. And now I'm going to go get the rest of the rewards. Never change localization team. Uh, you can do the fight. You just have to use New Game Plus to do it. I'm sorry. It's not even New Game Plus. Uh, oh, actually, though, it might not be there yet. No, didn't they say you could use the event quests thing already? Didn't it say on the site that you can already do the replay thing? Event replay feature? Yeah. I don't remember if the site said you could do that this time around. You might need to wait for it to come around the next time. <laughs> uh, it's that one. There we go. Oh, actually, it might not be this one. No, this is all the tarnish stuff. You? Battle theme one point X. Yeah, here we go. Tonatrua X Machina. Oh, they're not that bad. And then, of course, I got to get the card. Before the storm, state of the realm, who I really am, away, sail forbidden seas, find the flame, lands of the icon. And then, looks like the, the card is probably on the card bender, since it's not here. <laughs> Clive Rossfield. Unobtained and unregistered. If it doesn't say it's there on the site, then yeah, event replay is not in yet. MGP is so easy to get. I have 38 Good King Moggle Mog cards. Let me trade those in while I'm here. Uh, normally they go away right afterwards, but they're actually in a place that I don't think they, I don't remember where the 15 event ones normally are. I don't remember if the 15 event ones are normally here. Or if they're normally on that other NPC. Because I think they're normally on the other NPC. They were on this one. One of these two. Yeah, 15 event. Given they're here, they might actually be permanent. Yeah, the card will stay forever. That's that's almost certain. But I don't know about 
everything else the music she the i mean okay so let me be also very clear it won't matter if those things are still there because the bottom line is if you don't have the quest done you won't have the mount and that's all that really matters yeah so the card permanent i, I don't know about the music imagine i just sold it back No, it won't, Kyle. It'll be saved for whenever they rerun the event. Just like it is with Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> yeah, you need to be... Well, the concern that some people may have, and really they shouldn't because MGP is super easy to get, is that... Uh, You complete the quest, but can't afford all the other items. The card, permanent. So it would just be the music sheets. Uh, I was 400k MG MGP, but that's just for music sheets, and it's just for the card. Uh, yeah, given that it's not on a separate vendor, that's why I went to this NPC first, because I thought, I remember there being a separate vendor for the 15 event. The fact that it's here tells me it's probably permanent. <laughs> 